Shut up! Sorry. I just thought that was funny. Right. Um, I'm getting slightly addicted to making videos. I kind of regret making my last one. My bags were so bad. And, um... It was mainly because I was just fresh out of meditating. I think my bags were so bad, I personally, watching the video, wasn't really listening to what I was saying because my bags were so bad. But maybe <laughs> that's just because it's me. And then I saw someone commented on a video from four years ago, and I looked at that and I thought, God, it looks so different, no bags whatsoever. And in the last four years, I've done a heck of a lot of meditating. And that may cause bags. And I think straight away afterwards, the bags are worse. And then <laughs> I, I was doing this, because I've been meditating this morning as well. So I went to the bathroom and I was having a look and blink about 50 times. And they seem to get a little bit better. So I don't think it's anything to worry about. And my eyes don't look grey at the moment, they're like red and you know, it's because of the because of the cannabis. And um this video is kind of a you know a, a last video for a while I think. You know, I, I often say that and then two hours after making the video I have some new realization and but I, 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 I think you know it's, I've, I've done this I've come to some sort of conclusion and I'm quite happy to to move on do something I don't know I don't know I'm sure I, I'm still gonna meditate but I'm probably not gonna meditate 10 12 hours a day sort of stuff and um, I will be running out of cannabis so I'll be taking a break from that may even have a stab at giving up tobacco I don't know probably probably not but cut down at least and control it rather than it control me or use it wisely or whatever um, but I was um, yesterday looking on other people's who've um, made videos recently talking about the event and um, yeah so saw, saw two new guys I hadn't seen before and um, they know they felt it they felt stuff in here you know in a sense and that just feels really good because I know you know and when people are talking about feeling stuff on the crown I just know that you know God is now they are being led they will be led by God you know once you've once you've felt God you're in God's clasps you know it's not it's not gonna be um not going to be misled eventually you know god is there you have found god you will find the right way and you will find the right truth you know however long it takes and so if that's two new guys and that was just you know one search and then there there's these other guys you know like it seems to be that the the quantum healing QHHT thing is sort of and they brought up this event thing it seems to be I don't know like bringing bringing these people together bringing things together so that's I'm, I'm delighted because you know I think and one of these guys commented on it you know when you when you get this feeling, you know, in the beginning, it's just so life-changing. 
you really, really want everybody else to get it as well. Because you can see how different the world would be if we all got this and understood this. Um, so I'd, because it's definitely been a thing of mine, it's definitely been, it's affected me, you know, it affects my mood and how I feel when I hear other people talking bullshit or I hear the news talking bullshit. You know, to, to hear people coming on the right tracks is um, just really great. It's really good. But for me, so for me personally now, I feel like, poor, you know, like, I can, I can take a load off now, I can just, you know, like, and maybe for all of us, you know, we've all been doing our bits. And I still want to keep doing stuff, it's not like I'm going to stop doing anything. And I'm not going to stop connecting with God and my soulmate and the one love and other people. On a feeling level. I have wanted to talk about the astral stuff. Because I've seen it's quite a popular thing, people into the astral body, and I never really did it. And I figured out what it was yesterday or the day before. Um, it's just your imagination, but it's not just your imagination, sorry, let me rephrase that. It's your imagination flowing. I'm sure everyone's experienced this. You've tried to imagine something before and it doesn't work. You know, just say you're trying to imagine walking across a floor somewhere and it doesn't work. You're, you know, you're not connected to the floor or something or, you know, it's just not working. And that's, if you force, imagine something which, you know, it can be difficult. You try and imagine just something, you know, and it doesn't really work. But when you're just letting go and using your imagination and it flows, I don't want to speak to him. <laughs> when you just use your imagination and it flows, that is basically you are, your spirit body is doing it. So that is astral. The imagination flowing is astral. Um, so it's not really that a big a deal, you know. Sometimes I think I'm sitting there meditating, I think, why can't I just get up and walk out the door and it seem real? Okay, so maybe, maybe there are people doing stuff like that and it's more beyond. But I think when you're talking about astral planes, if my imagination is flowing and there is somebody else in my imagination and it's flowing, then I am actually engaging with that person and it's their spirit body and it's my spirit body and we are interacting so I have noticed with some people they're very they're very astral body um, active they're, they're, they're often using their astral body to to do stuff um, So I'm just wondering what that bloke 
One hit now. Um, hmm. Sorry, thoughts going on in my mind, stuff like <laughs> I made a comment in the last video about the elite Illuminati, you know, whoever that is, letting me know that they know. <laughs> and then I was just thinking, then I, there was something I was thinking, oh, I'm going to sound mad now, I'm not going to bother. Do you know what I mean? But you got, you know, the thoughts that go on in your head, you keep them going, you sort of, there's stuff you're trying out, you know, is that a possibility? You sort of, you leave a little bit of attention open for that possibility. So that was just playing into that, so don't worry. Don't worry about that. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, have I said, have I, you see, there's things that pop into my head and I think I want to say them on video and then, Sometimes make a video and it, sometimes they come out and sometimes they don't. But the insanity thing, right? There's no such thing as insanity. There's only the fear of insanity. But if insanity is a myth, then, like, why should you fear it? So you see how a little bit of truth can make a big difference. There is no, you cannot go insane. You can only fear something, or fear going insane. That's possible. It's true. Feel it for yourself. So, yeah, I think I'll be doing, oh, do you know what I mean? I'm just going to get this on video and you can see what I've got. Oh, someone else. Oh, now it's, <laughs> now it's a sales call. <coughs> you know, maybe they don't want me to talk. But I'll probably be doing less meditating and more I don't know. I just don't know. But I'm gonna when I run out of cannabis, I don't feel like just sitting down for two hours. But I could probably take myself away to a place, go for a walk maybe, and then see it's the I think I'd still be able to do it if I could still sit down still for two hours. Anyway, so I don't know if I thought this was going to be a long video. I, I kind of just want, just want to make a video without really, really horrible bags. <laughs> I probably have. <laughs> and, um, just like finish for a bit. I feel like I've, you know, said far too much. already <laughs> goodbye I'm seeing people in meditation as well I'm seeing they're the two guys, um, they're gay, you know, which, you know, I don't believe in gay souls, so maybe one of them has a feminine soul, but I don't think that's the case. It's just that, you know, I mean, zigzag path to God, doesn't matter, but I definitely see them there. So it's nice, I'm seeing... Well, more feel. It's a feeling thing, but you get the feeling and then you get the the imagery. I'm not going to stop meditating. No way. No way. Ooh. 
And I'm still going with the feeling that I am the son of man, that half of my genes was made by God. And um, how's that working out for me? All right. Not, I'm struggling, you know, I say I'm going with it. I get the feeling, you know, and I go with it, and then it's hard to believe. It's hard to grasp what that entails and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not, I'd love, you know, I'd love to, any psychiatrist or whatever, I'd, I'd love for them to try and, you know, show me that I am deranged in some way by thinking that. Um, because I think I could prove them that I'm not deranged. I don't think I'm deranged. It's, it's the feelings I've been getting. And I'm more and more sure that, you know, it's God that I'm feeling, Father above and Mother below. And I can feel them. Jesus. That's the other thing I did want to do, actually. I like to get these things done. And then I can not worry about it. <coughs> right. Yeshua, or Yahushua, and we all know who we're talking about when we say that name. And I will not use the other name, because I say... Jesus is the name of God. Our mother and father both. That's their name. Now Yahushua or Yeshua says in the prayer, Hallowed be thy name. Thy name. So God does have a name. And when we say our father, the original translation, and this is in a book somewhere, he would have said a birther or something like that, which meant parent, which meant both, mother and father. Hallowed be thy name. At some point the disciples had noticed, you know, other people doing healing. And they said to Yeshua, the people healing in your name. And he was like, fine. Okay, so they said in your name, right? But that could have been translated wrong as, you know, the name that you discovered, the, the, the name that you brought, that you revealed. And then just, just remember in the prayer, hallowed be thy name. And this is Yeshua saying it. Towards the, toward near the end, Yeshua is blessing his disciples. And he asked God, God, protect them in the name that you gave me, or with the name that you gave me. Now that could be translated to the name that you revealed to me. We know Yeshua is called Yeshua or Yahushua because it means God saves. That's what he was named. And that's what he was told to be named. Now Jesus has this sound, this J, Jesus, which they didn't have a letter for in the Hebrew alphabet or the Greek alphabet. But we do have this. Well, it can be done in two ways. Right? Can you see that? Now that is the Greek symbol for Christ. 
No, I'm saying this. they invented this to make that just sound. And I'm saying they invented this for the Hebrew just sound. And then this letter starts to be put at the front of everybody's name. Joseph, Jeremiah, Jerusalem. And the French loved it. They took that on. And I've never said that before, that that letter was invented for the Hebrew alphabet. And I don't know that for sure. But that one, definitely. So, a name was revealed to Yeshua that they didn't have the letters to even sound the beginning of this word. So I'm getting very... <laughs> Because the truth is important. Our mother and father has a name. Had that name before we existed. Or made it up for us so that we could call upon a name. Because it's personal. The relationship with your mother and father is personal. You are their child different from the one love and if you felt at one with the one love then you're doing very very well because that's come through God and that's probably one of the strongest feelings to feel And you feel at that point as though well it's just out of this world. But the heart the heart the heart is capable of anything. It's the it's indestructible. It is you. So, yeah, you know, I'm done, like, the video. I think I'm done, like, with the videos. I just maybe make uh, short ones if I have some interesting insights into anything. So yeah, just yeah. So I'll just I'll just see you there, right? I see you in the in the <laughs> in the new world, right? The new world is a feeling world. We're all connected there. Okay, bye.